Hello, this is part two of the My Blog Component training class from CoreFun Inc. for the Joomla Content Management System. Speaking of tags, those are right here. Okay, Authors of blogs are very often bad about not putting in tags. Uh, what you would do is if you already have some tags in the system, rather than assigned, you could start out by going to Browse. Notice there's only three tags in the system and none of them really apply. So what we do is we could go to assign and we can actually add some tags. So we could say Christian. We could say author. Okay. We could say uh, mystery because this author writes about the mysteries of faith. And when we've added those, we can click the plus sign. Notice they appear and they are selected. I can both simultaneously add new tags and browse existing tags and select them for use in a given article. Come down to images and documents. And let's go ahead and click on those. Now this allows me to view the images that I already have in the site and I can select one of those images to be inserted. Where the image is inserted is actually wherever your cursor happens to have been left in the primary blog article. So let's say that I would like to put an image right there next to I am. So I leave my cursor there, click on it, and then I come down and I select an image. Now I don't really see an image that I want to put there. So what I can do is I can actually come here and upload an image directly from my desktop. So let's go down and browse my desktop and let's look for a nice image that we can upload. Why don't we use, let's see, how about that image right there? I just select the image. Uh, in this case, I'm selecting a PNG file. Go ahead and click open. Go ahead and click upload. And I get the message that my image has been uploaded successfully. Now notice it was went ahead and it was positioned there on the left hand side. But it's not doing what I want. I want the text to wrap around the image not be down here at the bottom of the image. So what I would do is I would just click that image and I would go up here and I would click that tree which is insert edit image. I would come over to appearance and I would do alignment. So if I do align left then that's going to cause my text to slide up around the image. I can constrain the dimensions if I don't like the size that the image is. I can go ahead and give it some dimensions. So I could say I don't want this to be any taller than say 120 pixels. Now notice I don't have to to put in both the length and the I don't have to put in both the width and the height. I can put only the height in as long as this option is checked to constrain proportions. It will automatically adjust the other variable to make sure the picture looks proportional, won't be skewed. I can also come down here now and give it some horizontal space. I like about five pixels on my images. That keeps the text from crowding the image. After that, I can go ahead and click update. And what you'll notice is that now my image is aligned to the left. My text is aligned to the right. I've got a little bit of spacing between text and image, and everything's happy. The warning message that it was giving me was that I was not giving it either an image title or any alternate tags. Alternate tags and image titles are really great, especially for people who are visually impaired because they use screen readers, but they're also good sources of information for Google and other search engines. So I highly suggest that in your blogs that you set up uh, both of those. I kind of skipped past that in this tutorial. That is uh, most of your primary. Uh, functions you can of course you can do a quick search of older posts that way you can easily drag and drop links to those older posts the track packs and comments um, if you would like to insert track packs you can do that here anyone familiar with a standard blocking tool would know how to utilize track packs the only other option that I wanted to look at was uh, the difference between plain text and rich text it's right up here what the plain text allows you to do is actually go in and see your code. And so if you have some simple HTML skills, sometimes it's helpful just to come in and look at the code 
because there will be times that there will be some alignment issues, some spacing issues, maybe you copy some code in from Word or from a different website, and there are some things you just can't make uh, work right. It's easier just to bring up the code, look at the plain text. If you are uncomfortable doing that, stay over here in the rich text mode, keep the editor handy, and just work through it like you were in a Microsoft Word document. Now when I'm done with it, if I've got my option set to publish, I go ahead and click save, and then here's my here are my new blog tags, and then let's go ahead and refresh the page. Ah, caught me. I set the date to 1-6-2010. That's a teachable moment. So I was expecting the blog to appear, and of course it did not, because I've actually got it set to appear uh, in a couple days, because today is actually Tuesday, uh, January 5th, 2010. So let's correct that. And then now we will come back here to the home page for the blog. And voila, there is the blog. The tags allows me to search, actually see the tags that are in my blog, in any blog. I've got a search function that's for the blog where I can search by keywords, by blog, or by tag. There's my feed. Here's my account where I can actually manage all of my blog entries. This is preferences where I can describe my blog, write some information about my blog, my statistics. Right now I've only got one entry and no comments. And then any comments that have been posted against my blogs. So that's just a brief, quick overview of the My Blog tool for the Joomla Content Management System. This training class was by CoreFun Inc. For more information, please visit our website at corefun.com. C-O-R-F-U-N.com. Thank you very much.